Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I'm here today with an account review for Chasing Mist. Um, you, you want to say hi? Hello, everybody. Uh, so yeah, uh, and he's a, he's a progressing player. He's, a, he's about level, well actually not, he's a, about, he is exactly level 34. And he wants some help with building his golem teams. Um, and he's actually in a really, really unique situation where he's able to farm B9, but not able to farm um, B8 and B7 consistently. So I'm going to be helping him with that. So yeah, you want to um, tell me about what you're, what you use, and uh, what monsters you're, you're using for your farming teams. Uh, so for right now, I made for my B9 team. I've been using the uh, Fire Neza as the. Uh, as my leader because mm -hmm. I mean that's the only variant of fire that I have and then also she has the attack down and uh, defense break which is pretty helpful and then I run the um, fire cura to heal the whole team and then the fire arthur and the um, fire persephone I tried to use the fire odin but she didn't really like she I don't know she just wasn't really cutting it mm -hmm. so I switched over to fire persephone and that's been like able to like farm it out for me pretty well for b9 but i haven't been able to do too well in b8 or b7 b7 i don't have really much of any team at all <laughs> i tried working on it to build it up but then i figured i'm closer on b8 team so i might as well finish that mm -hmm. i um i've been running uh like recently i've been trying to get my um water arthur water wukong Water Fibian and Water Miho to um, like to, to be able to get through it, and mm -hmm. it's like a really like they can get through it, but it's a really close match, and I can't really let them auto it. So my Water Wukong is probably the strongest on that team because his self sustain has like he soloed the almost the, or the last two waves yeah. except the boss ended up beating him. So it, like I felt like okay if I can just buff the rest of the team a little bit, like if I had a healer that'd be great, but I don't really have a good water healer. And then my Arthur just wasn't dealing enough damage. I tried moving some gems around on him and switching them out and stuff, but I wasn't really sure what would work there. My Water Miho kind of just gets destroyed. Like whenever I put her in, she always gets targeted and dies really fast. Mm -hmm. And um, the Water Fibian is all right, but I don't, I don't know. He doesn't deal enough damage, so it doesn't really help too much. And uh, yeah, I've been trying to get my uh, Water Yaksha to uh, Evo 3. I actually just got some more uh yakshas today so that'll be probably coming soon hopefully <laughs> all right um i'm actually quite surprised because you actually have very very good units for for b, b both ba and b7 um uh, you know if you have this water wukong i think if you have them evil too even with this gem quality even uh -huh. with like all these just because they're they are six star gems or most of them are six star gems but uh you know, even with with gems like these, you can pretty much like even with the, only at plus nine, I think you can pretty much solo the whole whole dungeon if you if you just evil to him. Okay. Yeah, I mean, let me let me that do a works. test run. I'm actually quite surprised. I actually need to see your Arthur gems first. Arthur is at uh, plus six. Yeah, oh. that's one thing I have very bad luck on like leveling my gems so a lot of the time i will just sort of um like i'll just leave them mm -hmm. and wherever like i'll try and if i miss five times then i'll just move on to the next gem because i feel like i'm wasting too much gold but i don't know like my fire cure has been at plus 14 on a six star health gem for the longest time and i've just never like i don't have good luck with them so i always try to like I figure, oh, I might as well balance out the rest of the team and like try to get all of their stats up a little bit rather than maxing out certain gems. But it's getting to the point where I need to start maxing them out. Uh, you don't necessarily need to max them out, but they need to pretty much all be plus 12 at the very least. Because okay. even with your Arthur, with his gems like this, I mean, if you're using mostly 4-star gems, you might as well just, like, you can put them on a Valor set rather than using this. Because this doesn't okay. really... I mean, like, if you just throw in... Um, you know, even if you throw in this, it's probably better, because it gives you the twenty percent right. from Valor, and then you also get you also make him slightly tankier as well, you know. Okay. So, uh, I mean, yeah, you can you can definitely do that. And then the other thing is like, have you considered using this Dark Lat? He's also really good. 
Uh, I haven't really thought about it. I, I've mostly, like, I don't know. I've always tried to get the um, advantage. And then I see people, like, I've seen in your videos before that people, uh, when you use dark and light in um, dungeons, like, you, you know, but then, like, I don't know. I just always thought of mine as being, like, a lot weaker. It doesn't really have, um, like, I didn't think it would really help too much since it doesn't have the bonus. Mm -hmm. But I've never really tried it. Um, there, there is one problem. You don't have any, uh, you don't have any crit rate gems. That, that's another problem. Maybe I'll put yeah, him on, I'll put him on hold. He, he can be useful in the future once you're, uh, you can use him as a nuker for B7, B, B9, even B8 in the future, and also B10. He's a, he's a really nice monster. This, uh, this 30% hunter plus his base 100% crit damage. You know how dark monsters have that nice, uh, yeah. Yeah, hundred percent base crit, but it it I basically have, means you have to have like high crit rate on on those monsters. I have some crit chance ones on other mons that I could probably move over, um, but uh, I also, I think I have some that are like four star crit uh, crit gems, but they don't. I mean, it's not insane. The water, um, the oh, what's his name? Uh, water Sura might have a, like a, a crit gem on him. It's I think it's him. That had like a, a five star, or six star crit champ, and mm -hmm. I put it on a, like somebody already because I was gonna, yeah, because I was gonna make him um, and try to use him for the B eight. But if it would be better on the lat, then I'd just move it over to him. You should move this gem onto your lat, and uh, that that six star crit one, and get it uh -huh. as high as you can, like maybe plus twelve if you can. Okay. And then. Um... And then for these two gems, I don't think you, it necessarily needs to be a set, it just has to be like two random attack gems. You can literally go to Star Sanctuary, since that other one's a Valor one, right? You can go uh -huh. to Star Sanctuary and go on, on Extreme Mode, um, they have a chance to drop four star gems. You can just farm two okay. and put them on these two slots. Upgrade them to plus 12, and this guy's already ready. All you have to do is, uh, you can level him while you're farming those gems on Star Sanctuary. He's only 10 levels away from level 50. Yeah. Um... So yeah, and, and you can, like, if you take a look at his stats, like, the Evil 3 Nat 3 has much better stats. Like, even at level 40, has much better stats than the Evil 1 Nat 5. Yeah. So once he's maxed out, he's going to have, like, 3,000 um, 3, base attack, or 2,900, I can't remember exactly. Um, sorry, you're cutting out a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, is this better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd you say? Um, oh, I was just saying, uh, so then, I, like, I'll just prioritize the lat then. I, I think he could be one of your priorities, since, um, I, I think a lot of people don't really, well, actually a lot of people do. They, they like to use event monsters, and that's what I used when I first started the game. And you can see a lot of my monsters that I use, and, um, a lot of my videos are, are rebirth monsters, or, like, you know, event-exclusive monsters. Yeah. Yeah, so... The, the good thing about them is, first of all, he he's pretty easy to obtain. You you were able to get him to Evo 3 and also make him a uh -huh. variant as well. So he, he's yeah. basically very easy to max out. Like, it's, it's easy to reach his max potential. Um, the yeah. other thing is he's, you know, him by himself is a pretty decent monster. The other really good thing about the lat is he actually has skill book upgrades. Yeah. If you feed this to him, he gets a 20% ex extra damage on his nuke. And a fifteen percent here, and he gets a five percent extra heal, which is which heals him for um, twenty five percent, which is a small increase, but it's still it's still pretty good. Um, yeah, it's mostly for the damage though. Like you can get you can make him hit really really hard if you if you were to you know just get him to max level and uh, yeah. max skill him. I ended up investing a lot into the water miho because I tried to like I gave her books. Mm -hmm. um, and like leveled up her skills, so her second ability is completely maxed, it's level five. But uh, I just like I feel like um, I didn't have gem like the way people were telling me to gem her. I felt like she wasn't coming out that strong. And then I tried like I just like mixed around gems, and as you can see, I haven't even leveled up the gems on her. So I'm just not sure how to build her and like what her purpose is. Like, should she be tanky or should she be just dealing damage? Um, the. Well, there's actually two good uses of Water Miho. One is for BA, the other is for B10. Um, she's very, very good for B10, by the way. And, oh, okay. And, uh, you know, a lot of... 
Another unit that you can use for B10 in the future is also this Fire Persephone. If you, um, s what I'm using to farm B10 right now is, uh, I use my Fire Jin because he's the guy on Siphon to help everyone, to help clear the waves. Um, mm -hmm. I go with a Light Nike. Well, actually, no, wait, I, I only use the Light Nike sometimes if I'm like, if I'm there to wash the screen. But if I'm not there, I use my Light Succubus, which she has a self heal. Um, and she basically just solo tanks and just, like, takes all the aggro. And then I have, um, you know, the Fire Purse and a Water Miho. And I built both of them on full attack. Alright, uh, and for Fire Purse, I saw in one of your videos that you said, like, you should try to build some, some attack on her. I, like, I, before that, I had been told, like, just build her full tank because she's only, like, Evo 1. So I'm not sure, mm -hmm. like, should I, should I, like build her tank while she's evil one or should i try to put like some attack in also i don't know how many gleams you have right now i don't have any right now you don't have any gleams i have enough um uh enough crystals to buy the package for three the random ones and um i like i pretty much get the one a week from um from the Astramon League, mm -hmm. that's about it. Um, I try to get the Holy Gleams, but then, um, like, I don't know whether to prioritize it onto, like, um, like, which monsters to prioritize gleaming up, like the Wukong or the Water Arthur. I'm really hoping to pull a fourth Arthur and then be the Water Arthur once I get him to Evo 2. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, I'm not sure if, like, it'd be better to just go with the Water Wukong since he's really helpful for my B8 team or if I should go for like Fire Persephone because she's like really versatile in a lot of things or what to do well normally for a lot of people I would just say like you know go go back to Pago's Coast find some Water Monas <laughs> and build a Water Mona right uh, uh, but, but for you I think you have a lot of like good units already but the, the other problem is it, it feels really weird because you have all these Nat 5s and they're very good Nat 5s like Water Wukong um, what Arthur? All, all the Arthurs are actually really strong. Um, okay. Fire Persephone is also top top tier for for golems. And uh, you know Odin's like a top PVP monster. Shiva's uh, yeah. kind of sad, but you know he's, he's <laughs> yeah Shiva. the wet Shiva. <laughs> he's my favorite at five, and I was hoping to get a good one, and I got wet Shiva. I was like, come on. Oh. My first Shiva, and it's a wet Shiva. Um, man, I wish we, I wish you had some gold so we can like just regem stuff and literally straight go straight into B eight. Because yeah, what I would that, do is I would rip that this gem off, uh, and then just put on this lat. Um, do you have like Star Sanctuary hard on unlocked? Actually, it's, it might take too long to farm it on video. You're probably gonna have to do that in your own time. But I, I'd probably like just upgrade some of the gems on your Water Arthur. Uh huh. And then, uh, and then like throw these two into B eight. And these three basically into BA and see like see what they do. So which which three? Um Arthur, Wukong, Miho. And okay. then for the fourth I would probably Um I guess I guess we can use this Fire Arthur as well for the fourth. Oh okay. Or we can use this. I mean she has yeah. a leader skill, I'm basically just using her for the leader skill. Yeah. For the uh, defense lead, and then for her, I definitely like I, I need better gems. Unfortunately, two of them are uh, the diamond gems that I can't farm, so mm -hmm. that's disappointing. But um, like today, I tried doing a uh, or farming the or like at least going for a couple of the diamonds from B7, and I got like two matches in, and I ran out of friends that had uh, wood mons on, or wood monsters on, and I was just like, well, guess I'm done with my B7 runs. You you have all the extreme modes unlocked, right? Uh, no, For no, the second the, map. The Magma Crags and the Star Sanctuary I haven't uh, done yet. I've been like farming a lot of B9 to get gold to try and level my stuff up and I probably should have just finished the extreme because like it wasn't like I was having trouble with it but mm -hmm. I just wanted to move to like farming so I could level my stuff up but a, a lot of people early on they use like a full water team to fa farm Pagos Coast but you don't have to do that because you actually have some pretty strong units and of different elements so you could probably go all the way to Star Sanctuary as well 
And they have, like, Valor set gems, which basically just give attack. So you can just gem up, like, everybody on, on like, 4-star Valor gems. Okay. And, you know, they, they drop all the shapes. So as long as yeah. you do that, yeah. you can you should be able to do B8 relatively easily. It's just your gems. Your gems are, are really, really bad. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Like, they're not even upgraded. <laughs> Yeah, I like the upgraded. The most upgraded one is probably the Fire Cura that has the, the six star health gem. And I like, I'm one away, but I just gave up on it because it's been too impossible. And then I have him like equally maxed up because he's just been like super, super strong for me uh, whenever I'm like farming. And I tried to like give him like the because I was running a weird set on him before, and then somebody was like, "Dude, just go max attack. He'll heal himself full bar every turn." And I was like, "Oh, all right." And he's been like heal he heals for the full health, but it's he also like dies really fast and gets focused, so mm -hmm. that's the only problem with him. Hmm, interesting. For him, I thought like that. He, I was gonna go Evo to him, but then I wanted to do the Wet Arthur in case um, I pulled an Arthur and like could get um, the Evo three. But then I thought about it, and like if I do make Evo three Wet Arthur, then I lose the Fire Arthur, and he's one of my better um, B nine farmers. Or, like that, I use him on the team because he just does a ton of damage. Uh -huh. But I'm not sure if I should still just Evo. Wet Arthur and try to replace um, the Fire Arthur with Odin. All right, let's let's do a test. All right. Wait, who else was I going to use? Uh, Water Miho. Oh yeah, the Water Miho. Um, your your problem your problem is pretty easy to fix. All you need to do is, right now you don't have gold, but you have like 1,800 astrogen, so, which is quite a lot. All you need to do is, you can farm B9. Um, you can just go into B9 and, uh, you know, farm up like a million gold. Yeah. And go to, go to, uh, Star Sanctuary, farm some Valor sets, and put uh -huh. everybody on 4-star Valor. Okay. Like, like, it's besides the Wukong, like, if you have, like, some six-star gems, you can use, like, Broken Set. But anyone that has, like, not a, not a set gem, just go to Star Sanctuary and just put them on Valor. Okay. And then, uh, and then, uh, plus 12 all those gems. Like, use the gold that you make to plus 12 all of them. Okay. And, um... Like, should I end? So I just do it to my, like, my main farming teams? Or, because, like, I also have, um, like, water sura that I'm trying to make. No, no, no. Just completely ignore everything else and focus oh. on B8 first. Because, right. um, you're not able to farm as much gold in, in B9. You, you, there's no way you can do B9 as fast as B8. Yeah. Yeah, it does take a little while to get it, like, to farm out 20 of them. The, the trick to farming BA is to have high damage, because the, the boss is actually really, really squishy. Um, he doesn't... He doesn't really, like, you know, he, he can't take too much damage. You can kill him really, really easy. Yeah. So you just uh, you just put in a whole bunch of nukers, like all water nukers, and it's pretty easy to farm BA. What the hell, they might actually... What the hell? Alrighty then. Yeah, like they can already do B8, but you if you want it to be stable or you want it to um, be faster, just go to go to Star Sanctuary. And the way I would gem everyone is, um, yeah, just put them on triple attack. Put her on. Uh, I, I think maybe if he's only evil one, maybe HP double attack. Okay. But you can probably put her on triple attack because she's balance type, and uh, she's evil three as well. Okay. And then for the uh, for the uh, Neza, should I just put her on like all? Somebody told me to put her on all health. I'm guessing that's because she's got the defense uh, break and the attack down. Uh, but she's her... mostly the the conventional build for her is uh, HP HP defense because most okay. people just use her for Titans. She's a Titans mon. Okay. But since you're using her for like progression and use, using her for farming golems right now. Uh, she doesn't necessarily need to be that tanky, so what you can do is actually put her on uh, 
one like HP defense attack. Okay. You can actually do that on her. And then um, also, was there any uh, like if you look through the uh, monsters, were there any three stars that I should save because I'm planning to like do some uh, reverse tomorrow? I actually would also recommend you uh, build a water Mona even now because like water Mona is still very very strong. Yeah, I've been saving up some water Monas and I actually I think I have enough for an Evo too, but. Um, other than that, like, I, I wasn't sure what else to save, because I already have the Yeti that I wanted, which is the fire one. I have the... This one. Uh, Dude, this one, this one. You need to you need to lock it. I found it. I found the, the Master <laughs> Race Mona. <laughs> oh, what the... Okay. I found it. The Triple so Square why, Master Race. Why do you... Why would you need to do Triple Square? Like, what... what the, the, the reason why Triple Square is so good is because, um... BA is just so much easier to farm than oh, all the yeah. other dungeons. Like, you can do BA in, like, 40-something seconds. And it takes me <laughs> longer to farm B9 than it does to farm B10. Okay. Um, so, yeah. should I farm... Um, should I, or should I just use the, the wood Mona that I have to give the variant to this water Mona? Yeah, 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 do that, too. Okay. That, that, that Mona's useless, just, uh... Just feed all your Monas into this Mona. I locked it for you. Don't don't feed her away. She has triple square. Right. There's also another reason why triple square is, is very, very good. Especially on, like, Morabu's farming monsters. Uh -huh. um, the, it's it's that, you know... Um, I don't think it's the weekend. Yes, it's only Thursday. But Dragon's B4. Uh -huh. Dragon's B4 is fire. And, uh, and it, he only drops square slot. He's the easiest, oh. like... <laughs> Dragons B1, 2, and 3 are of the same level. It's kind of like, you know, if you go into Golems, like how B, B7, 8, and 9, the Golem is the same level. Yeah. Um, it's the same for Dragon, where in Dragons 1, 2, and 3, they're the same level. In 4, 5, and 6, they're the same level as well. And B4 is actually the easiest to farm out of uh, 4, 5, and 6. Um, so how do you get dragon sigils? Because the only way I've seen is to buy them. That they, I've never actually like collected one, or I've never actually far, like, got got one Dra from the farm. Dragon sigils have a pretty low drop rate. I would say it's lower than one percent. <laughs> um, on extreme mode. Okay. Yes. Um, basically every run of extreme that you do gives you a chance to drop dragon sigils. Okay. So then I just have to like just. Farm a ton. I'm not saying that you need to farm dragon sigils, but the, the uh -huh. reason I mentioned that is because you might be leveling some monsters sometimes throughout the week, and you might fa happen across a few dragon sigils, and you should never waste those. You should always use up every single dragon sigil that you have. Okay. Um, and a really good way to do that is if you have a full water team like the one you have right now, um, all you need to do is replace place that Neza with the Mona and use the Mona's water attack lead. That will actually make your team even better because... The attack lead will make your monsters hit harder, and you'll be able to farm even faster. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, and you can use that exact same team once you have their gems, like, pretty, um, you know, like, nearly maxed out. If you have them, like, at, at plus 12, you can throw them into Dragon's B4, and they're they're able to farm Dragon's B4. Um, maybe not on auto, but you, you should just, like, manual it, because you might have, like, 10 Dragon Sigils, which will give you, like, 5 runs. Like, it's not going to take too much time to, uh manually do five runs of dragons b4 okay and they have a chance like b4 has a chance to give you four to six star um siphon gems oh nice oh that would be awesome because i've seen a bunch of people with siphon gems i'm just like i wish you, you've seen my farming teams before right yeah. like yes yeah. i have <laughs> yeah like it, um since you triple square and b4 only drop square you can, like, if you happen across three attack siphon gems, you just throw them on that water Mona, and she instantly becomes, like, a super, super strong farming machine. <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, yeah, so that's one extra reason to raise a water Mona. So, um, for my gems, I have, like, I've already gotten my Nat 5 for this HF. Mm -hmm. So, would you, like, is there a better way that I could use those to, like, progress faster? Yeah, you, your your gems like are not up upgraded at all, and the thing you're missing is gold. So all you need to do is, since you're missing gold and you can't farm, I guess you can farm BA. I don't know. Just try try the team I was using just now, and uh -huh. see how how stable it is. Um, okay. Actually, no, no, no. First thing is, bef 
af after we get off, because you know this might take a while, um, uh -huh. is go through all of story mode uh -huh. on extreme. Get to Star Sanctuary. You don't. You just basically need to be on extreme mode of Star Sanctuary. And you can farm any stage. They all have a chance to drop uh, Valor gems of any um, of any shape. Okay. And you just put your yeah. Arthur on like HP double attack. Oh. And uh, Miho on triple attack. Okay. And for the uh, for the pixies, I have like a few of them. And you said uh, I should go light. I should max that first. I would recommend <coughs> um, of all the pixies. I would say the light one's the most useful. She has a defense down and and a pretty. Uh, Pretty pretty good uh pretty good heal skill like this thing, this thing's not the best healing skill like it's not it's no shield but it's still pretty good. Yeah. Um. So would I go um like triple uh, HP or two, double HP defense on that? Probably just build her like full tank. Okay. Yeah. There. There's no point in putting um. Uh, I think she already has pretty high base recovery. I don't remember her stats at max level. I, should, I can take a look really quick. She actually might be pretty good for a full light PvP defense because of the armor break and how she has, um, you know, light healers have 30% base resist. So it's very easy to get max resist. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, and she has no attack anyway. She has pretty high recovery. So basically... Um, you can put her on your defense team as well, and then she's like this really annoying monster that's just kind of there, constantly armor breaking. And if she happens to get a full bar, she just like max heals everyone. Um, she's so, she's pretty good for PvP, I would say, okay. but she's mostly for Titans because they there's no um, there's no reliable armor break on uh, any healer in the game right now. She's the only one. There's there's some Nat twos, but they have like a I don't know like a. 50% for one turn or like 40% or, or some shit like that. It's yeah. really shitty. Um, so then two other monsters that I was wondering about. One is the Radis for the Rebirth. Uh, what types? Because like, I, I think Fire would be a good one because of the... Um, the he, he gives himself the uh, SP bar and then like has the Predator. Yeah, Fire, so, fire is actually not too bad. He's, a, he's like a mini Fire Gen. And then, um, I was wondering about the dark version of him. I don't think they're, uh, they're, yeah, they're not there yet. But the, um, the dark version of him is, like, a, has, um, a 70% stun on three-star ability, and then has, uh, aggression defense. Mm -hmm. And he's a defender, so he's got, I think he has, like, almost 3,200 defense built in. So would he be worth Evo 3? I'd say, I'd say yes, because there's a lot of, uh, you know how clan PvP works? Like, you can't use repeats of the same monster? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I would say he's, like, in every way outclassed by, like, Dark Sea Star. Uh-huh. But because how you can't use repeated monsters, um, he actually might be viable. Because he's a he's an oh. aggressor as well. He's a half-aggressor. Well, that, and also I don't have, uh, Dark Kraken, or Dark Sea Star, mm -hmm. so... <laughs> Yeah, so like there, there's actually some uses to using that monster. Okay, um, and then the last one is sort of random, but there's a two-star monster that I think it, it said that like came off of Aurora Plateau or something like that, and it was like a it was a super healer from what I could see, but it had a heal for the team, like a ten percent heal for the team. Um, it was like the gargoyle one, and it was a water gargoyle. And it just like healed the crap out of the whole, or it healed the crap out of himself, and then the whole team. And I was wondering if I should try to like level that up. The the thing is like some two star monsters in this game are actually decent for their utility, but the, the there's actually one um, pretty big problem with using two star monsters, and it's that their base their base stat at max level is very very low compared to anything else. Like if you oh, compare okay. this with with a Nat four or Nat five. Like it just, it's like oh. half of that. Um, okay. If you compare his total yeah. stats. I was just looking at the um, water version of him and like, it had a lot of uh, like, 
Like, if you built him full tank, it looked like he might be able to just, like, heal himself and then heal your team for, like, if you needed a water healer. Or, mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I was just wondering because I got him and I was, like, not sure if anybody used him or anything because I haven't heard anything about him. Well, you don't necessarily need a healer of any element. Um, if you have that, like, light pixie. I think the, the good thing about introducing the uh, pixie as, as the, the rebirth monsters is uh -huh. if you have a light dark healer, you can use them for almost anything. Oh, like, yeah, that's true, that's true. Huh. Yeah, and she's she also serves as an armor breaker. Like, she has so, so much good utility. Oh, okay. So, yeah, then I'll, so then I'll go for maxing her first out of the three. Dude, her variant color looks so good. It does. <laughs> would you say um, go, like, after light, would you say go dark or fire first? I would say... The fire one is stronger than the dark one. Okay. The dark one's still not too bad. She's alright. <laughs> she might be okay for PvP as well. I I could actually use see maybe some uses. I'm not I'm not too sure. She has a bit of attack, so I can like put an attack gem on her maybe. <laughs> Same thing I I do with Dark Hero. You know my Dark Hero is actually on a Valor set with uh, double attack HP. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, that's that's how I gen my Dark attack. Hero. She, she has the highest base attack of all the healers. Double attack, though. Jeez. Wait, where is she? That's, that's surprising, though, because then whenever somebody gets to fight her, they're gonna just... Oh no, I, I only use her on offense. I never put her on defense, though. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, people are just gonna be really surprised. Yeah, she has 2,500. The heck? She has like no recovery. She's a she's a healer, but like she's tanky and has high attack, so... It's her pretty variant good. looks pretty cool. I actually regret making her variant. I like the original. I like the, the purple hair. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I like the variant clothes, though. The variant clothes looks much better, but I don't like the, I don't like the blue hair. I'm excited for it. They announced this system where like you can change the appearance of some of the monsters, like maybe their other forms. I was I was hoping I could change her appearance to like non-variant. I I would pay real <laughs> money for that. She's she's my favorite monster in the game. Like I've I've oh, had her for a long time. Oh okay. Yeah, like I I just the first good monster that I got was probably like Wu Kong because I got. Well, I got Fire Arthur from the the contract, mm -hmm. and then I got um, a uh, Wood Arthur from HF, and then my five star A gave me a Wet Wukong. I was like, yes, that's the one I like the most. You... But I still have an Evo to him. I think your problem is pretty easy to solve. Like, I think this team should be able to do BA pretty easy. You can try it and make a bit of gold, or actually, you can go to you can go through this first get your valor gems like start oh. switching up that the arthur's gem set and the miho okay. and then just get them to get the, that gem set to like plus 12 and start on start on uh start on b8 and okay yeah since you have a team to farm both like all th you'll you'll be able to get a team to farm all three of these stages i think um, B7 should be pretty easy, I think. All you need is, uh, let me think. What I use for that? Not sure if this will work exactly. Actually, wait, you're missing another monster. You don't have anything. Yeah, I, my, that team is very lacking. I don't have many wood monsters, and then also like a lot of my good monsters are, are fire. You don't have a healer that you can use for this stage. That's the problem. Uh, okay. So then, once I f if, if I finish that light pixie, then I can just would I be able to just throw her in there? Mhm. Mm yeah, you can use her for all the stages because she's light. Another okay. good thing is she's also relatively tanky, so she actually might serve as a solo light tank for those that have her, for B10. Like once you're getting into uh, B10, okay. you can put her yeah. as a solo tank because she has sustain because she's a healer, right? She can heal herself, yeah. and uh, you put in like you, you just put in like two sappers, you know, your Persephone and Miho, and then put in another like 
bar booster, something like uh, Water Arthur. And then that's a really, oh. really good um, B10 team. So, Water Arthur, like, I've heard him called the uh, bar booster, like, AR and SP battery. Is that because he gets his second ability, which gives a lot of blue? The, the good thing blue? about um, him is his morale boost is 50%. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, in, basically, like, on the third turn, he's guaranteed to always have his AoE up, no matter what. Yeah. Uh, unless they have some sort of like SP steel or, or thirst or some crazy shit like that. Um, <laughs> which 99% of the time they won't. Uh -huh. So they're, like it's also, it's also very likely that you might actually get your AoE up on the second second turn. Okay. Um, as well. You know, it depends on the situation, but it's, it's possible. Yeah. Um, and basically once he gets this off, He's gonna do a lot of hits, and Blue Soul is generated by the number of hits that you do on the enemy, right? Okay. And an AOE will do a, a, a number of hits on all four of the enemy. Yeah. So um, after he does this, there's gonna be a whole bunch of Blue Souls. So by the turn after that, somebody else is gonna have their bar up, and then they're gonna nuke again, and they're gonna keep generating Blue Soul. Oh, uh, okay. And then the, the process just keeps repeating. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how you, uh, how you boost your... Uh, yeah, you have like really good bar boost. Um, I'm not sure if you can do this stage without a healer. You p technically can, but you your your uh, damage dealers don't have enough attack because they they're not they don't have elemental advantage. Like maybe if you had like four wood nukers with yeah. the same quality of gems that you have now, maybe you can do this. But uh, I don't think you can do it with a mix of water and wood. Um. Maybe once you get your Dark Mona up, or not Dark Mona, Water Mona up, use her leader, and then run these two, like, run the same team, like, pretty much, pretty much the, <laughs> your BA team can run, uh, can run B7, if you, uh, okay. if you have them gem properly. Alright. Yeah. So all you need to do is, uh, um, f go through, go through Extreme Mode, get to Star Sanctuary, uh -huh. and use Valor, um, I, I would say I would still say Valor's the best because Valor is like the only offensive set out of the yeah. out of the four. Um, the other ones give HP, defense, and resistance. Only Valor has a uh, has attack, and that attack, oh. that extra attack, will be very good for farming BA because BA literally you don't need any you don't really need any sort of tankiness as long as they don't die in one hit. Yeah. Um, you just stack attack as much attack as possible. So I think okay. maybe even Water Arthur, if you're if you're interested in gleaming him like to Evil Two in the near future, yeah. you can even put him on triple attack. You probably don't even need to put him on HP. Well, I'm probably gonna get the um, or spend the crystals and just get the three uh, gleams, and I think because mm -hmm. he was my he's planned to be my next uh, thing that I was gonna Evo to. Oh, you should definitely uh, use use your crystals for gleams. It's the most valuable or that has the highest yeah. value. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was like looking at the uh, the light dark eggs, and I was just like, "Oh, that'd be so nice," but I need the gleam so bad. No, that you're gonna get a you're gonna get a cult from that. <laughs> you're gonna get a cosmo from that. Trust me. That's, oh my gosh, I've gotten a cosmo out of like the last four light and dark ones that I've gotten out of the uh, bingo and stuff like that. I just always get cosmos. You're gonna get three Cosmos if you buy the pack. If you buy the high light dark egg, it's gonna come out as like a, I don't know, like Dark Hunter or some shit like that. Dark Hunter. <laughs> I was looking through it to see which ones like I wouldn't want of uh -huh. the, like that egg. Yeah. Uh, there was actually like eight four stars, and I was just like, wow, that would just be trash. Like, I yeah. Can't do this. Oh man. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go for the uh, the three gleams. I'm hoping I'll get like a two water ones. And then I can just straight Evo to the uh, what are or the um, wet Arthur? That would be great. And I'm hoping to get a fourth Arthur. That would be awesome because I have a five star egg that I haven't. I don't have enough money for right now. So. If you have enough crystals, I can pull it for you. I always get the gleams I want. Every single Heroes Fest. <laughs> if you watch my videos, oh, every yeah. single time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have the crystals. If like if not, I, I mean I have the the uh, gems to do the Astro gems to get another roll. I probably would not recommend doing that. I don't know. Save it till next Heroes Fest. Oh yeah, yeah. Now that I'm like done with HF, or like I got my five star, I usually call it. But 
Wait, I don't even know if that gem was good for you. I, I like sold it by like it was like <laughs> by instinct. I saw I saw like I I don't even rem actually wait, I don't even remember what that gem was. Like I don't even remember seeing it. I just I didn't look at it. It was like it was trash. That was it. Like <laughs> Oh my <laughs> Oh yeah, another hour and a half. So um, I already actually have a Radist that is um, a variant uh, Evo Three Fire. Oh so man, should, so you're short. What am I short? Twelve? I'm short by twelve. Are you for real? Yeah, you're oh short by twelve. God. What is that? Oh. <sighs> Just oh man. Do a coin flip. Heads, you do another summon and summon that. Tails, right. you wait till next Heralds Fest. Let me, let me get a coin out. Alright, where the heck is a quarter? Oh, gosh. The, the correct choice would be to not do it and wait for next Heralds Fest. Like, that's the most... That's the optimal choice, I would say. Well, but it's... The, like, the main reason that I'm, like, okay with it is because, mm -hmm. like... I mean, I'm not a whale, but I'm also, like... I, I'd say, like, I'm probably gonna end up buying one of the... Uh, gem astro gem packs, anyways, for like twenty bucks or something like that. Um, the like monthly bonus. So it's not like a, no, not those. Oh my gosh, no way. But uh, I buy the one where if you buy three of them, you get a holy gleam. This one, the best one. Which oh gosh, no. <laughs> okay, I saw the variant one and I thought about it like real hard. And Wait, wasn't this 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 one's not the variant? Oh, it doesn't give you no, a variant. Sad. The, the variant, like, is supposed to be coming back soon, or, like, eventually, but yeah. not for... Just, just wait for that one and buy that. <laughs> if you're gonna whale. If you're gonna whale, that's the that's the highest value. That's all I can say. If you're gonna the whale, the, whole, the variant <laughs> Holy Gleam is highest value. Oh, man. I, I might do it for the variant Holy Gleam. See, this is the one I buy, like, or that I'm planning to buy another one mm -hmm. of, just because it gives you 1,800... Uh, Astro gems, but then like the main thing I like about it, besides the like, I mean, obviously Astro gems is good, but the fifteen hundred energy is amazing. I that gives me so much energy to like mess around with, and oh man. Oh, you, sh you should have bought this instead. This this actually has highest value. Look look at this. You get one fire. Oh, what the heck? You get uh, it's it's nine dollars. You get one water and one wood. Oh, for real. <laughs> Yeah, and you also get uh, Astro Gems here. And yeah, that was, what was that? Like 100? That's like 200 Astro Gems. It's a lot of energy as well. The fruits are kind of shitty, but it doesn't matter. They're just uh, they're just kind of there. Yeah. Some energy back. And I think at the end you get a Light Dark Egg. Wait, oh yeah, that's right. You get 200 more here. And then you get a Light, light Dark Egg. It's $9. This this is much higher value than this. This one I'm not sure. This one's you get six hundred. It's it's twenty six dollars. For for that one, the only like thing that I didn't like about it was a lot of it was just gold, which I mean I, I isn't completely bad because I need gold anyway. Mm -hmm. But like I don't know. I I just felt like the other ones were better, and then I didn't want to pay twenty seven dollars to get like one light dark egg and a bunch of random stuff. So I don't this know. one's much lower value. This this is really high value. You get three gleams with this. All right. Um, okay. So, open up the. Wait one sec. Let me see. Open up what? Uh, open up. All right. Wait. I, I wonder if. Let me see if it went through. Oh, what? Oh yeah. If you log on on your other account, this logs off. You can't have oh, two log on logins, but it's alright. You just need to relog here. It's fine. Oh, okay. You just click it. Uh, it'll it'll relog you. Yeah, okay. it probably went through if you bought it on your phone or something. Yeah, I just get got the nine dollar one. So then, um, I'll Evo to the uh, Wet Arthur. Then you need one more gleam to Evo yeah. to him. Well, I'm, I'm gonna guess that I'll get the the one like Wet Gleam from that. Uh -huh. uh, Oh yeah, here, let me flip this coin to figure out if we're gonna actually... <laughs> Alright. Uh, heads or tails? Uh, wait, if it's heads, you do it? Alright, heads. Okay. 
heads. And we're doing it? Oh gosh, yeah. You want me to summon one for you? Maybe I'll get another nat 5. Go right ahead. Alright, here goes. Oh my gosh, we got- Oh man, you're- It cucked I have, you. <laughs> I have too many Evo 3s. Or I mean not Evo 3, too many uh, nat 3s that are waiting for the rebirth. Don't- Oh wait, oh yeah, you wait, you can't do that. Maybe uh... Let's see. Maybe what, you have what, nat 2s that, that are actually in your inventory for some reason, you can release them. That's possible. Let's see. Maybe- Oh, so many nat 3s. Yeah, there, there's a lot waiting to be- Oh, okay, there's there's a few. Well, uh, let me think. Colt's farmable on the map. Yeah, you don't need this guy. He's, he's completely farmable. What are you doing with these? <laughs> Those, okay, so like, I... Th mm, they were the best dark and light things that I had for a while. And uh -huh. so I would just use them to like, like j just to like remind myself like, hey, at least you have something light and dark that's Evo 3. And, and yeah, now I should probably just get rid of them because they're just like taking up space. You still don't have enough room though. You need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like if you release all these, you only make eight slots, and you need uh, you need well, three I have more five slots. Slots already. So we need. Oh wait, yeah, exactly. If you release them all, you'll have enough. Okay, can we? Okay, release all but the. The Coltine or whatever, or the cots. is that worth making an Evo, like, or, like leveling up? A well, some one? people use them for, uh, for Titans, but it's, oh. it's very, very late game stuff. And oh. although he's not farmable, he's very easily summonable. Oh, okay. And he has no square, so, you know. Alright, then let's, let's do it. <laughs> the, these guys are farmable, this guy, wait, wait, this one, is this one farmable? I can't remember. Uh, I don't know, because there's the... Weapon. This one's farmable. This one's farmable. This is... This already... These already Evil 3, so they have no value. You should just, like, release <laughs> them. Alright, I'm gonna do it, alright? Alright, sounds good. Wait, what? Oh, it's locked. It's locked. The variant Evo 3 Goldrick or Goldrick or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one, this one, you can easily get another one on the yeah. last map. He's farmable. This one's also farmable in uh, Sky Falls. Hey, five thousand gold. Let's go. Be useful. Uh, fruit. <laughs> this one, I'm not too sure. We, I'll, I'll keep this one for now. This, okay. uh, you can, like, he appears in the shop from time to time as well, so he's pretty okay. easy to get. Ghost is farmable in Star Sanctuary. I think that's that should be enough right there. And that uh yeah we have we have enough slots. All right. <laughs> wait wait wait! I just thought of something. Huh. After we summon, we won't have enough slots to get the gleams. Cause you need three more slots. Oh my gosh! Wait, maybe we'll get. Wait, I don't know. I mean, we could just talk. Oh my gosh. I mean, you have to like release two of your three stars or something like that. Fine, I have enough of them. It won't kill me. I'm only gonna get dark radis anyways, because I already have the fire one and all the others don't seem very useful. Okay. All right, here we go. Am I gonna get a nat five? <laughs> Medusa. Uh, never lucky. Nico. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wait, I just thought of some uh, easy way for you to make some room. You know you know that water Mona you're gonna raise? You just yeah. feed all the other Monas into it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could do that right now. Cause it's like, she, yeah. She, I mean, I don't want to screw it up later and like forgetting that she's the one with all squares. Yeah, you should keep her. Oh man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling the luck here. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay. Okay, it's, oh, it's a I vampire. A I hope that has a square. That'd be awesome. Vampire is not, not too bad. I never raised one, though. I kind of didn't need one. I wanted to ra Oh. Yuki. Oh, that's the third one. Now I can make an Evo 2 variant Yuki fire. Come on, variant on the last pole. Nope. <laughs> it's a Radis. <laughs> 
Hey, right. that makes my Dark Radis a variant, so that's cool with me. This was an okay pull. It was, it was uh, interesting. <laughs> uh, wait, we should go to Kynes. It's easier to, to do this. Alright. Alright, uh, which one's the one with triple square? Locked one. Okay. Oh, yeah, there she oh we have exactly three. Oh, wait, is she the right one? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah triple square. You can put the other oh, two into her as well. Yeah, so then I'll only need one more Evo 2 Mona. Wait, she's the right one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to, like, fuck this up. Alright. <laughs> uh, I'm going to just throw, throw them in, because you're probably not going to use these two. Oh, wait. I don't have enough gold. Oh, wait. Do they have gems? I forgot to check. Probably really shitty. Are they, are they shitty? Oh, shit. Oh, it's gosh. Oh, wait, it's a recovery. What the heck? Why is that? I don't even know. I'm just... Okay. <laughs> this one is, uh... Five star defense. Nah, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's overlap it. Let's... Yeah, just, just just feed it. it. It's gonna cost more to remove these gems. Like, do you want to yeah. really want to remove no, this? No. Yeah, I really don't. I don't <laughs> know why that even still exists. That should have been sold on the spot. Okay, there we go. That's, uh, three. Triple square. Okay, we're just gonna throw away those gems. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, we're, we're just gleam yeah. We're, it, we're, let's we're, go. We have enough to summon the gleam. It's fine. Yeah, that's that's all that's important. <laughs> okay, I, I'm usually really lucky. I always get the gleams I want. So what we want is two water. Yep, two water. And you instantly have your Arthur. Did you do your? Did you get your arena gleam yet? This uh. Uh yeah, for this week. All right, come on, water. Come on. Oh, oh. man! Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Please, water. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Come on. Oh man, sad. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I bought that package. Oh wait, you have enough. Yeah, you just you just needed to get one. Okay. Okay, you okay. have enough. Okay. It's alright, we don't you don't have enough gold to do it to evil to I the know. Arthur anyways, but you have enough to uh evil to the Arthur. Okay, you have enough gleams. So, yep. Alright <laughs> Um But yeah, I think I think that's pretty much it. There's there's not too much to solve, it's just you need to get some better gems on your units and get that Arthur to evil too, because you're gonna be using him all, as well for B ten in the future. Yeah. I think Wukong doesn't really need Evil Two, he's already good enough as as is yeah. um and after you get that that team gemmed up you can use the exact same team for b7 it, it would pr probably still be your best team because that team would have much better gems um especially your mona because after your mona like farms b8 Farm. for a while you're gonna have a whole bunch of square gems okay. and you can just put like that mona on a really good set yeah and uh and then that mona will be that mona actually might be better than your arthur for b10 as well <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, because Evil 3 Water Mona has better stats than Evil 2 Arthur. There's, there's, did you, if you didn't know, um, farmable monsters, so all the monsters that you're, are farmable off the map, like the, the, um, only specific elements, like that, that are obtainable on the map. Wait, your screen's bugging out. Can you, like, click back for a second? Okay, okay, we're good again. Oh, that was weird. That was super weird. My, my screen just bugged out. Damn, this this thing is so buggy. It's I think team viewer is being buggy a little bit. Um the 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 monsters, like the of specific elements that are farmable on the maps. So like water mona, all three versions of the Miho since they're farmable. Um like water shelly, um wood cocoa, wood seedler, and uh, Water Siren, and what were the other ones? Like Fire Candling, you know, Light Cosmo, you know yep. those ones? That are yeah. farm ball on the maps? They actually have better stats than other Nat 3 monsters. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Uh, they have slightly increased stats. I think they just did that to make, make it easier for like the new players that have those monsters. So if you look, at, if you look at the Water Mona, uh, she actually... 
if you get her to evil three uh -huh. she has like really good stats maybe uh almost like a nat four oh, okay, okay. yeah she's 2800 which yeah, is both really high good. Um, so for, like, I don't know, um, I've been sort of, like, I, just, I level my, or I send my, like, mons that I use to five, but I haven't done any that are, like, six star, six star. Mm -hmm. I, like, just because of how much money it costs. Yeah. Uh, should I just start, like, saving to make them six star? Would it be worth it to just save up and make them all, make them six star? I think you should just, uh... Um, the, the monsters that you eventually 6-star are going to be the ones that you're going to be using for B10. Okay. So, uh, it actually might be better to use a water, evil 3 water Mona versus the evil 2 water Arthur. The Mona actually might, might do, do a better job. Cause she, she nukes much harder. She's got higher base attack. Huh. Okay. Uh, so then what I, well... Would I put them on the same team, or would I just replace the Arthur with uh, Mona? For for B8, you go Mona lead, Arthur, Wukong, and Miho, right? Uh-huh. For B10, eventually, well, you can use that exact same team, that exact same B8 team for B7 as well. And okay. you already have a B9 team. Um, for yeah. B10, you run, you should, if possible, I don't know if you, if you have a variant of the Pixie. Uh, I don't think so. She has a really good leader skill. She has she has crit lead. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Dang, yeah actually, that could be helpful. <laughs> yeah, like if you can get, cause for B10, I I recommend an offensive lead. So either like crit attack or crit damage. With attack probably being the best, but crit is also quite nice. Um, and then that crit lead should be able to help your pixie do really well. She also has I wouldn't say extremely tanky. Um, but she has the potential to solo tank if you build her really tanky, if you give her like a full 6 star gem set. And she has, has self-sustain, so it, it should be fine, given that your other monsters have enough damage to kill the waves um, fast enough so that she doesn't take too much damage. Yeah. She'll, she'll be able to start healing herself up once you get to the second wave. So I think there's potential to her, for her to solo tank the, uh, the, the dungeon. I, I'll definitely test that out because I, I do actually want to raise this monster. Um, okay. I'm probably gonna try to get her and try to try to evil three her if I can. I have a lot of four stars. <laughs> so for uh, the two fire gleams that I got, would you suggest um... Persephone? Definitely Persephone. Okay. Okay. Um, Persephone is gonna be your other unit that you're gonna be using for B10. She has okay. she has the the best sap in the game. She has a sixty percent, a hundred percent, two two turn sap. Like this is this outclasses everything, um, and she she has relatively high attack at Evil Two, two thousand four hundred. Yeah. Um. So that's actually really really good. So basically, just having her Evil Two, having your Miho max skilled. I think Miho has like two thousand um, base attack, but she has the skill book, which her skill book actually increases her first skill by like thirty percent and second skill by like twenty percent and yeah. in attack. So she she hits really really hard. The water Miho yeah. as well. So I've you just... got my, I've got her first skill up to like level three, and then her second max stat at level five. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so all you need to do is run. Um, if you can get Pixie lead, run Pixie lead. If you don't have her as a variant, just run Mo run a. Uh, actually, no, no, run, run Mona lead because Mona has the, has the uh, attack lead okay. for water, and you have two water units. So just run Mona lead if you don't have the Pixie, but the Pixie will give crit to all four units, which would probably be slightly better. Um, all right. But you can just, like, in the in the future, your Mona, by the time you get to B10, your Mona is going to have, like, your best gems because she has tr three square slots, and you're going to be farming B8 like mad. So all your best gems are, like, uh, she, she'll be able to hold all your best gems. When I get to Fire Persephone Evo 2, what, what would you recommend, like, attack HP HP, or...? No, just triple attack. Just tri triple attack? Yeah, just triple attack. Um, she should, like, once you get these monsters to 6 star, all yeah. three of them should be on triple attack. Okay. They're Persephone, Miho, and, uh... Um, wait, who was the other one? Mona, Mona, yeah. Oh, Mona, okay. Just run them on triple attack. 
I think it actually might be better than doing that. Um, doing that instead of the Arthur. And this kind of makes our water Arthur kind of not that useful. Because well, I was gonna say I can Evo th or Evo to my Persephone right now because I have three fire. Games. Oh wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no! You shouldn't use the Mona for B10. Because you have two other Arthurs Evo 2. So once you get this guy to Evo 2, you can make him Evo 2 plus 2. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so he's going to have actually have higher attack than the Mona. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I forgot that you get a bonus from having <clears throat> like 2 plus 2 or 2 plus 1, that kind of thing. Yeah, she'll, he'll have higher attack than the Mona and a 50% bar boost, so he's probably better. But then you're missing a leader skill unless you get crit, crit lead on the Pixie. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if that team's going to be 100% stable. If not, yeah. another a safer team to build is you build up your Light Victoria and okay. try to get Variant on her. And you run her lead and with a Pixie and then your two Sappers. Run that. Alright. Um, uh, so, for, like, yeah. for PvP, if I'm making all these units, like which units of those would be best for PvP so that I can still, like, do the clan battles and stuff like that? Well, Odin's definitely a staple. She's got, like, this. Super uh -huh. strong. The Pixie's also very strong. Like, Light Pixie's, I think, uh, that base 30% resist is insanely OP. <laughs> um, yeah, it's definitely quite good. Man, so I, the, I wish the dark one was stronger. I wish she had like defense or shield or something. Yeah, the resilience is like a very specific skill. It has to be used very specifically. Mm -hmm. um, and then for uh, what was it? Oh, so should then I should I go for um, after I've got my uh, wet Arthur and my fire Persephone like gleamed out or like Evo two. Then what would I go for? Should I just go for the Odin or the Wukong? Um, I don't think he's that... Actually, no, he's actually pretty good. If you have the right gems with him, I think he could be top tier, in, especially in offense, in arena, off, in like PvP offense. Okay. Uh, since he has high attack, very good self-sustain, definitely can do do quite well. Yeah, I looked at his attack, it gets much better when I finally get him to Evo 3, but... <laughs> it's actually better that he's balanced type. I actually like his stats that way, because I, I wouldn't put him on, like, full attack um, for for off... Actually, I could, but if I if, if, even if I put him full attack, he would still be relatively tanky, like, so that he wouldn't, like, die instantly. Yeah. It, it's, it's all about him uh, trying to sustain himself with, a, with his uh, SP, HP siphon every single time that he attacks. Yeah. You, you kind of just want to, like, be able to max heal himself every single time. Yeah. So that's that that's was, kind of his thing. Yeah, I was gonna say that's the thing that's like like made him so good for uh, B eight for me was just like every time he hit somebody he just full healed, and they couldn't kill him unless like they stunned him or something, which rarely happened. Oh dang, your Arthur is triple square. Yeah, is that good or bad? It doesn't matter. He's he's getting fed anyways. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I think for PvP there's no reason for you to raise specific monsters even monsters that aren't necessarily good for pvp if they have better gems you just you just outstat the enemy basically okay like even if you had to throw fire persephone in if she had better gems than the enemy you'll you'll still win you know yeah and you're more likely to win than if you put in like if if you had her evil 2 with like good gems and her like with pretty i mean like pretty shitty gems well they don't have uh -huh. to be like extremely shitty like <laughs> Say for example, you have like six star gems on her, but you only have two four star gems on her, and they're all plus twelve. Uh -huh. um, you know, you you should still use her instead, even if the Odin has better skills. She has better stats, so you just like I think PvP is mostly a stat thing. It's mostly a stat game. Okay. Um, skills aren't as important, especially when you get higher, because like res resistance starts becoming a thing. So utility is not that important. It just becomes like. Monsters with like self heal or like aggression whacking each other until somebody dies. <laughs> <laughs> um, for the um, 
light Yaksha, should I, like, if when I get her to Evo 3, which seems to be coming up, because, like, I'm starting to get a lot more Yakshas, mm -hmm. um, how would I gem her, and then would she, what would she be good for? She's mostly... Some people could use her, you can use her for B10 for like using a full light team, but I I think it's um, a full light team is not as good as using a light tank and like sappers built on full attack. Mm -hmm. That I did a lot of testing before it was like a few months ago, but I I made quite a lot of videos doing a lot of tests on like you know getting fast um, B10 runs. Uh huh. And basically the conclusion is that the fastest way to do B10 um, isn't to use a full light team, is to use a a uh, a light tank that like takes all the aggro, yeah. and then having sappers built on full full attack. Um, so I mean, would she be like PVP oriented or? You can use her for PVP. She'll definitely be pretty good because um, you know defense down is definitely quite nice, uh, but mostly for offense because she is an attacker. If you put yeah. her on defense, she's gonna get one shot every every single time. Uh, yeah. With the number of like dark attackers in, in PvP, like, <laughs> like I think you started the game a little bit later, but before there was like a Katito event, you know, the Re Mono Rebirth, like everybody has those monsters. And yeah. last month it was the last, so like everybody has a, at least has a dark lat. Like if they have two, running two dark lats on offense, she's gonna get killed on like on first turn every single time. Um, so you can't use a light attacker on on defense. At least oh, not out yeah. in the open. If you hide her, maybe, but... Well, yeah, I've seen some of the Gatitos, and I'm just like, what the hell is that damage? Like, yeah. I so... came in when, like, halfway through the Fibian um, mm -hmm. Rebirth, and that's when I started playing. Yeah. So, like, I was like, I had a variant Fibian, or Dark Fibian, and I didn't know what, what his skills were, or, like, if he was good or not, and I ended up beating him. Oh, God. To make that yes, I made that water Fibian variant by feeding him a dark. Fibian. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Yes, it was it was sad. Oh man! I found out later about that, and and I just oh god, it's so bad. Well, at least um, you have this lat, all right. At least you have this lat. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's. The... <laughs> He's making up for it, I guess. Um. Uh... His crits help a ton in um, in arena. He's gotten me like a, at least like two ranks higher because usually I can get like gold one, and I'm trying to break into platinum. But we'll see how that goes this week. He, he's really strong. He's he's definitely a really really strong monster. I, I didn't yeah. raise one because I already had like a lot of other dark nukers as well. Yeah. I didn't really need one, but he definitely like this hunter plus uh. His base crit is, is insane, if you get his crit rate up. Um, but for her, I would say the best use, like the a a a absolute optimal use, is actually for Titans. Because she has defense down in Predator. Defense down is really oh. good. It lasts three turns. If you put her on team one, she's really it's good. Three turns, jeez. What? Three turns, that's so long. Yeah, it's, it's, it's extremely good. Like Especially, um, debuffs that last a long time are really, really good in Titans. Um, you just put this on your like first team, and then she like puts defense down. And then if she happens to get her bar full, it's still a useful skill because she's going to be doing like extra damage. Um, so if like RNG is good, you might put defense down on first turn. Second turn, she gets blue soul and does the predator skill, so she like nukes harder. And then maybe third turn, you don't have your bar full, and then she does this again and maybe puts another defense down. And last three turns, so it's very very good. She's she's definitely one of um. One of the better units for Titans. And, and I've been like, like on Titans, I've been pretty much just waiting until a void Titan comes up and mm -hmm. then I try to get in there. Like, what, what, should I just go for whatever? Or don't, is there still like... Don't worry too much about Titans. It doesn't really matter. You won't really get too much. Um, because your, your damage compared to like, I, I don't know how good your clan is but there might be some higher level people with like ma a lot of max out monsters especially uh, people that are building specifically for titans like your damage is going to be like it, it's, it's going to be nothing compared to theirs yeah no it's not because it's same clan as you so you're uh, oh wait yeah i forgot you're in my clan <laughs> Rip. You're yeah like 
you might you might not even do like a million and then there's people doing like you know seven million or some shit like that yeah yeah you do um a lot more damage from what i saw because i was proud of myself for getting to like eight hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. and then and then i saw you guys i saw your damage numbers coming up and i was just like what the heck like that is so much damage yeah so like you're not gonna rank high in the clan anyways like there's no point yeah like there's really no point in you building for titans at least not right now but in the future once you have like your golems peeing down your dragons team you have like most of your pvp units um you can start building units specifically for titans so she's probably gonna have to chill until then okay um, I'm probably not gonna stress too much about her. Uh, oh, could you check that fire vampire? Hopefully he has a square. Was this oh, the one you summoned? All right, yeah. yeah <laughs> he's quite good. A lot of people like to use the fire vamp for dragons B9. You know how I always farm B10, but even with my my team, it's not like 100% stable. Yeah. Um, you can make a 100% stable B9 team. A lot of people choose to farm that, so he actually does do that pretty well. Okay. Because, yeah, I made an EVO 2 version of him. This mm -hmm. was, again, back before I knew how the game worked. And I didn't know that you couldn't build crit chance without a square. Oh, sad. Yeah. So he's just been sitting there and waiting for... I've been waiting for a fire vamp with square. It's all right. You'll eventually be able to <laughs> EVO 3 one. Yeah. And then I wasn't sure if I should build a fire nuker from the, that Leo. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look in his uh, his evolution, I have the uh, leader skill like, that's going to be unlocked. Oh, he's and, pretty good. Uh, Fire Leo is definitely quite nice. Uh, oh. I can't afford to build one, but a lot of people use him for like... You, you know the streamer Asian Elite? Uh, I've heard of him, yeah. Yeah, he, he, uh, some of his teams he uses Fire Leos quite a lot. Okay. Because, um, you know, as I was talking about, you might have um, heard me talking about it in my last video when I was talking about, like, the meta, how there's no water threat. Yeah. Like, in PvP. Like, there's there's annoying monsters that are water, but there's no, like, there's no, like, water armor breaker and, and, and stuff yeah. like that. Like, like, if there was a Fire Odin, like, you know, like, Fire Odin, but, like, a water version of this... Uh -huh. Then that that would be pretty threatening. Like that that yeah. would be, like people would wouldn't wouldn't mess with you. But there's no water monster that can do that. So there's no like, there's nothing to be afraid of when you bring in fire nukers. So he's actually like fire succubus, fire Leo, is actually top top tier, in uh, uh in offense. For, that, for the uh, fire succubus, would it be? Like, is that a good one to go for Evo 3? Oh my gosh, I don't have a crit slot on that one either. Um, <laughs> Sad. I've, oh my gosh, I've Evo 2 some of the things I shouldn't have. I think Far Succubus is, in my opinion, the best, uh, best Nat 4 out of all the RGB monsters. I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Jeez. Um, and then Fire Yuki, would that be, like, should I try to, because I have a very variant of her should mm -hmm. i try to make her the evo 3 or like evo 2 for right now and evo 3 later or should i just try to use the yuki to get more rebirth and go for the pixie i don't think yuki's really that that good you can probably feed all the yukis they, they're not yeah they don't, they don't have that many uses yeah because i've got four of them and one of them is a variant so i might as well try and get a variant pixie i'm guessing like over that yeah you can try that I, I think you can do it i mean uh the 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 yukis the water one could be very very good but you need to like mass kill them to for her to be better than the water miho and that's very hard to do because four star skill books are like impossible to get <laughs> Uh, yeah. So then, there's no real reason to use her because, like, a mass skilled water Miho will will be better than an unskilled water Yuki, and it's much yeah. harder to build a Yuki as well. So you could probably just use the Miho, and it's not not really all that much better. Like, even if you have a max skilled Yuki, actually, it might. If it's completely max skilled, I think it's it's a lot better, but it's also impossible to do. <laughs> so there's no point thinking about it. I mean, yeah. probably by the time you uh. You have a max skill Yuki. You you probably could have already built like three or four wa water Yukis, like Evil Three or some shit like that, <laughs> by that time. Um, 
Yeah, so there's no point in building the Yuki's. The, the other good Yuki is the, the Fire one, who has like armor break on both skills. But uh, there's like also the Candling, who has the same chance, and if you like skill book the, the Candlings, they actually get skilled, scaled up to 80% for two turns. Oh, duh. So like, right. it just, she gets outclassed by max skilled uh, Candling as well. So it's just it's just sad, all right. It's just it's just sad. <laughs> um, yeah, you can f probably feed the Yuki's. I don't see that much use in building Akira, but I mean, I mean, if you have so, her evil three, you can use her as your healer for everything. Like she'll she'll uh, sure. she'll serve all your healing purposes for any stage that you would ever want to do. And she's also quite good for PvP because she's light and she has that nice uh, base resist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I think I can get her to Evo 2 plus 2 before this HF ends, so that would be mm -hmm. good. And then, I mean, the next one, I'm, I mean, I'm guessing Pixie's coming out again. Yeah, this she's HF. probably going to come back again next, uh, next Heroes so Fest I, Rebirth. I'd be able to finish her off and, like, that would be my Evo 3 healer. Mm -hmm. For everything. Yeah. Uh, right? Oh, the water sheep is so disappointing. It's alright, you'll just feed him into <laughs> something else. He's actually not bad, but he just he's not as good as uh fire purse. Every time I think about him I just like I just remember that it could have been a dark Wukong and it's okay. He's actually quite strong. I, I made a video a while ago, I can link you afterwards. Of I can dark put in Wukong? the uh, no, no, not Dark Wukong. Oh, Water okay. Shiva. Doing B10. Because I actually heck? evil 2 one, and uh, and I six-starred him just for fun. I was, I was really bored one day, and I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a make a meme. I'm gonna I'm make a new meme. Oh my gosh. And then I, I, I did it. <laughs> so I have a video of him farming B10. But it, he got some crazy, crazy fast runs after a few. Huh. Yeah, but it was with like... My other units had like Siphon Gems, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, to to kind of summarize what you need to do, you go <laughs> first thing is you go and finish up uh, extreme mode on your map. Uh -huh. All the all all the way to Star Sanctuary. You don't have to go through all of Star Sanctuary, but you need to finish Magma Crags and get to Star Sanctuary. Yeah. And then you can farm any stage of Star Sanctuary to get some uh, Valor gems. I mean, I would recommend you get to the gold stage, because gold stage gets more gold. Yeah. And you just farm on the gold stage until you have a Valor gem for everybody. Like, they're all percent four-star Valor gems. The, you don't need to care about the substats, it doesn't really matter. They're they're temporary, you just get them to plus 12, um, put them on your Arthur, your, your, your Miho, your Mona. And yeah. then, uh, and then, and then you're good. And then Run you should probably go back to Pago's Coast as well. Oh, oh yeah, and grab the Mona. And grab four more Monas, and you only need four more, so that's that's pretty easy. And yeah. then you go and you uh, you start farming B8 to get some gold. Um, after you B8. grab the gems, if you don't have enough to plus twelve, just go back to B8, farm some gold. You'll you'll get some gems actually in in farm while, while you're farming gems here as well. Mm -hmm. so you do make a little bit of gold. Um, if you don't have enough, you go back, you go back into B8, and by this time, I think, um, what's more important is, like, you know, you, like, plus nine everything first. You should have enough gold by the time you have, you farmed all the gems in Star Sanctuary. You should have enough gold to, like, at least plus nine everything. Yeah. Um, then go into B8, you start farming this, um, plus 12 all your gems once you get the gold, and your, your teams will, your team will be pretty fast in, in farming this. And then you just try to get as many like attacks, square, or whatever square gems, like whatever good square gems you can. Um, the oh. first thing you want to do is you want to replace the three attack slots on your, your Mona. See if you can get like her either on like a full Valor 6 star set. Uh huh. Or, or, um, yeah, I think Valor 6, Valor triple attack 6 star. Like it should be high enough damage to like one shot anything when she hits anything in this wave and then she'll become like attack per right over like regular like flat attack yeah yeah no no flat attack but by the point like if, if you're using five star monsters um attack percent is actually better is is already better than flat attack 
You should start okay. selling all your flat attacks. They're, they're completely useless. Okay, yeah, I have a lot of flat, like, health, flat attack, stuff like that, flat defense. Yeah. Uh, and then... Alright. That This team will just keep farming. You'll be able to farm B8. And once you get that mono on really good gems, um, and your other units, maybe at least the ones with square slots, uh, you replace whatever gem they have. If 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 it's like a six star gem, uh, uh -huh. that's like worth using, then you can just like you know use a broken set maybe like with one six star gem and two four star, um, and then like okay. max out that six star gem or something, and that'll actually give you like more attack stats. And then you just throw them into B seven, yeah. and they can probably like that that same team can probably farm B seven once you. Like maybe if you have like two of those units at six star, um, uh -huh. I would actually recommend six starring Water Mona first. the The reason is because okay. your your Arthur has no square slot. So even if you're farming B eight, oh, yeah. the the gem quality of your Arthur is not going to get any higher. And that Mona yeah. is going to be like you know evil three max max out right. Yeah. And she has triple square, so it's it's possible. It's definitely possible to get her on like a triple attack valor. Um, in B8. And then you'll have like a really really high attack on that Mona and you just 6-star her and then she'll be able to like one-shot anything here. Um, she'll be able to one-shot anything on the story maps as well if you need to ever level up other monsters. So she'll be okay. really really nice for farming. Um, and then you you go down to like B7 and then you farm up whatever um, diamond gems that you have. Probably with that exact same team. You probably don't need to raise any anybody new. Um, I would re I would recommend six starring the Mona and six starring the um, the Arthur and also six starring the Miho, probably okay. in that order. And, and then they... eventually, um, what, so what was that? Uh, so for like the person that I sent in to the the fourth person to go into B eight, would that be Wu Kong? Yeah, Wu Kong. But Wu Kong's okay. a temporary unit because he uh, he doesn't really do well in your, in like B10 or anything. Well, he, he could be used for B10, but he has no no real utility. He's just kind of selfish. He just heals himself. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> So then for B10, is that when I would try to like use the light pixie with the max uh max up? I think if you have like the pixie on like a life set or something with yeah. like HP HP defense or protection uh -huh. set Something like that, she might be able to solo tank that thing. Okay. And then your other units need to have high enough attack so she she doesn't like get hit for three turns in a row. Because I think um, she'll be able to take two two turns of damage on wave one. But you should be able to kill like most of everything before before uh, they attack again the third turn. Like you mm. might be able to just leave like one unit alive, or possibly kill them all. And then you said um, for the dragon sigils, like while I'm farming, I'll probably pick up like a couple. Yes. Uh, so just like use those like whenever I can. Uh, what you want to do with your dragon sigils is you want to, first of all, you want to get this, that water team we talked about for B8. Uh, yeah. You want to get their gems up as, as, as fast as possible because your like dragon's okay. going to be coming up next week. I don't know if you have any sigils. You probably don't because you haven't been I farming any extreme. Um, but once you're like going through extreme mode, like while farming Star Sanctuary, you actually might come across a few Dragon Sigils. And uh -huh. what my recommendation is, if you have a decent enough water team that can uh, like reliably clear B8, you should be able to use that same team to manually cle clear Dragons B4. Okay. So um, I can't guarantee you'll be able to pass B1, 2, and 3 like without refills. But just like refill yeah, once, it, like probably just refill once past it until you get to B4, because yeah. B4 is all fire, and if you're using all water, you have that elemental advantage. Yeah. And um, so, the dragon B4, did I keep the uh, light pixie in, or would I want to put the Wukong back in? No, you just use your same team that you're using for B8, like that full okay, full nuke team, because dragon, like, dragon is all about nuking. It doesn't matter oh. which floor, they're all super squishy. It's just, you kill them before they kill you, that's it. <laughs> Alright. Um... Yeah, you just nuke through dragons B4, and if you're very, very lucky, you'll get some siphon gems, and eventually, maybe, you'll be able to put that Mona on a siphon set. Uh -huh. And then once that happens, like, your your farming speed is going to be insane. Like, it's, it's going <laughs> to get cranked up to 10. All right. Like, even with her at, like, 6-star Valor sets, like, she's she's at a 3 at most, you know? But once you get that, like, you know, like, 3 6-star siphon gems, 
like yeah. attack siphon gems like it, it just get automatically cranked up to 10 like your 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 speed um is gonna go from like a minute 10 seconds to like 40 something seconds like potentially <laughs> yeah yeah so then i can just leave it to to auto itself that'll be great yeah you'll you'll have very very fast ba teams you also have very very fast um story farming teams all right um Yeah, I think that's... And then the slumbering city, or like the other two continents, like just don't mess with them. Like, don't mm, even worry about it. Yeah, you don't, you don't really need to worry about it. It doesn't really give you anything. Okay. Just fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I've been trying to max out my inventory slots also because mm -hmm. I'm like... I, I'm just like starting to save up a lot more monsters and stuff for just random things like rebirth or just because I need to evo them and Trying to get to the storage. It's so expensive Yeah, I, yeah. I'm just like oh the 200,000 I just spent to expand my inventory by five could have been used to like level up a bunch of gems or like oh, I don't know. Everything's so damn expensive for gold once you have your BA team ready, your your um, farming efficiency is going to be much higher. You'll okay. be able to convert your energy or your Astro Gems into gold a lot faster. Okay. And then you can slime that back for more Astro Gems, so you'll yeah. you'll be able to make more gold. Um, so yeah, that's that, that's actually pretty good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all. That's all you really need because after you have that, um, you'll eventually be able to build for B10 once you have your Persephone Evo two. Um, you can either, you can use either one, either your, your Mona or your Arthur for B10. Yeah. Um, I would say if you don't have the, if you don't have the Pixie as a, um, as a variant, it might be better to use the Mona because she at least has the attack lead and yeah. her attack lead works for herself and also works for the Miho. So it's yeah, basically definitely. increasing her, the Miho's damage by 30% as well, which will probably provide more damage than if you were using the Water Arthur. Okay. However, your bar boosting won't be as as good, so I can't... Um, it might be more stable with the Arthur, but you might have potentially faster runs if you're running the Mona. I think either or would be fine. It's, it's really up to you. So if one? I do end up um, Evo 3 that Arthur, then would I just use him? Yeah, yeah. I would, I'd definitely use him if I if he was, like, you know, Evo 3, if he was maxed out. Okay. Um, yeah, because I've got that 5-star egg. I'm hoping it'll be hard. What else is there? Yeah, I think you have your B10 team. Um, you, you should be able to f start farming dragons a little bit if you have some sigils. Like, at least farm B4 once you have your B8 team ready. Yeah. And... And then afterwards, after your B10, you can start like doing PvP and stuff. Uh, but for now, don't worry about PvP. Just use whatever monsters that have the best gems. Because PvP is just a stack game. It's just... Like, it doesn't really matter what skills monsters have. It's just whoever has better stats wins. <laughs> Alright. I, I would say it's 70% stats, like 30% skill for the monster. Yeah. Unless they have like extremely shitty skills, but like if they if if we're talking about like debuffers, um, the the guys like if if we're if it's like top top tier, everyone's gonna have like max resist, so like it doesn't even matter that much what debuffs they have. Uh huh. Yeah. That's yeah okay. Well then yeah I'll start like just uh, focusing on level or getting that Miho for the Evo three and mm -hmm. then uh maxing her out and then i'll go straight for like for her i'll just go to six star her um first like before anybody else since i'm probably gonna be using her a ton and yes then, the miho I'll, i mean i don't know like, i'll try to get the books i guess there's not really a way to guarantee it but that i could get both of her abilities maxed out that'd be great and you should be able to while you're leveling the monsters like while you're say for example uh, like during this time while you're farming for Valor Gems and when you're farming for the Monas and um, you know in the future if you're like 6 starring your Mona and Arthur I think yeah. by the time you get to B10 she should definitely you should definitely have enough books like okay by the time you have everybody like 6 star B10 you should definitely have enough books to uh, Evil 3 or not Evil 3 uh, max skill your Miho awesome um, I, think th I think that's it 
Yeah, I think that covered we, everything. We never really got to use your dark laugh or anything. I just I realized that he's not. I mean, yeah. Afterwards, I think after your B10, um, uh -huh. he should be the monster you focus on for PVP because he'll be okay. he'll be really nice. Yeah, I've been using him like a lot in PVP, and like he doesn't crit often, but when he does, he does so much damage. It's ridiculous. I'm just like that's amazing. But I'll probably have to uh, um, work on him once I start like. Like once I'm done getting all of my farming set up, then mm -hmm. I'll be able to work on the Astromon League and hopefully get higher in the league. Because right now, I'm still trying to get that plat. You're you're actually almost there. You just need to do Mega Magma Craig's the last level, and then you're in Star Sync. Oh okay. Oh wait, no. This is hard mode. Oh wait, no. Yeah. This is extreme mode. I need to finish off the seabed caves. I think I think I like stopped. Um, once I got to gold bonus, yeah. Oh, uh, all right, all right. It's well, like my, my mistake. It's it's gonna take a bit of time, maybe like an hour or so. I was gonna say, yeah, I'll probably just do that right now. After this, I'll finish that up. So all I right, I don't I don't want to keep you for too long because your your exp thing is uh, is running while we're talking, so you should, oh. uh, <laughs> should get farming. <laughs> it right. is double right now. It's not one point five. It's double. Oh really? What the heck? Yeah. Gotta use I, that. I, I, I uh, wasted 17 minutes of it. <laughs> it's okay. Well, all right. Very much for uh, all the help and like all the tips and stuff going through with me, and for uh, helping me pull those gleams. <laughs> yeah, at least we got enough. All right, we just yep. that, that's, yes, we got we the did. one we needed. Yep. That one could have been a wood one. You, you oh, would have had to wait another week. Yeah, that would have been very sad. <laughs> But yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty. That's that's it, guys. That that's the end of the video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.